It is a hundred years since Islam was introduced in Rwanda, but for all that time, the Muslim community was sidelined by past regimes. The Muslims say that they didn't enjoy their basic rights like any other Rwandan until the country's liberation struggle 20 years ago. They now participate in the development of the country. <laughs> As the National Housing and Population Census indicates, there are 210,000 Muslims in Rwanda, representing 2% of the total population. Another achievement, 3% of Muslims completed university, different from the situation before the genocide against the Tutsis, where we had only seven Muslims who finished university studies. So going by those statistics, over 5,000 Muslims completed university level, while 21% have secondary school diplomas. In the past, getting a Muslim who had a secondary level certificate was a miracle. Participants at the Rwanda network of Muslim professionals in Kigali said that time is now to leave behind the sad chapter and come up with homegrown solutions in line with the development and the vision of the country. Rwanda's Mufti Sheikh Ibrahim Kaitare said that there ought to be partnerships between those who studied sciences and religion since they complement each other rather than opting for divisionism. Mufti Kaitare thanked the Rwandan government for restoring the Muslim community and they are now involved in various sectors. The representative of the Ministry of Local Government, the CEO of Rwanda Governance Board, Professor Shaka Anastas, asked Muslims to establish a culture of transparency and accountability so that they can attain the desired development. <laughs> We have to work in transparency. RGB is in charge of overseeing NGOs, the civil society and good governance. They are inseparable. We require full accountability and full transparency. We demand 100%, not 50% or 40%. When we demand accountability, don't interpret something else. We cannot compromise accountability and transparency. RGB pledges its support to you, any kind of support. One of the resolutions adopted in this meeting, the Muslims committed to shun divisionism among them.